In today's Autodesk Revit tutorial, I will show you how to export your Autodesk Revit 2024 model into Robot Structural Analysis 2024. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's proceed to the Analyze tab over here. And click on Analytical Automation over here. And an Analytical Automation window will pop up. So we need to create the Analytical Model first. In this case, I've already created it, but if you haven't created it, you must create it. The reason why we need to create this analytical model is so that we can actually perform the finite element analysis in robot structural analysis. Without the analytical model, we can't do that. So I've already created it over here, but it's quite likely that you won't have your analytical model ready. So I will show you how to get it done. So choose the physical to analytical for buildings over here. And you must click on the select button over here. And select everything that you see in Revit over here. That is your structure. And let's go through each of these settings over here. So starting with this one over here, adjust analytical elements using connectivity rules. You can just leave it as true. It doesn't really affect much. And the tolerance, you can leave it as default along with the adjust analytical elements to nearest level. So by default, most of the things over here are set correctly already. So you can just click on run. And the run is complete already over here. And you can see we have already created all the analytical elements for our structure over here. Click on the close button over here. And let's head back to the analyze tab over here. And at the top right, you can see this robot structural analysis drop down here. Click on it and click on the robot structural analysis link over here. So we have quite a few options here. So the first option here is concerning the direction of integration with robot structural analysis. So what we want to do is we want to send the model to robot structural analysis. So we just leave it as is and type of integration choose direct integration over here we do not need an intermediate file and let's check on the send options button over here so you can specify the case that contains a self-weight so this drop down here has many options so if you have actually modeled in the self-weight into ll1 or win1 then choose ll1 or win1 but by default it should be dl1 over here and you can actually choose to ignore the self-weight from revit but I will just leave it as unchecked here. So I will still consider the self-weight from Revit here. Click on OK. And OK once more. And right now Revit is working hard to export it to Robot Structural Analysis over here. So once you've already exported to Robot Structural Analysis, you might get an error like this. Click on Yes to view the report over here. So if we scroll down, there are no errors other than this one right here stating that robot structural analysis regional settings are not set to the United States over here. So it's not really that big of a deal. So click on close over here. So this is our model from Revit. We've already successfully sent it into robot structural analysis. But there are some things to take note. For example, there are no supports at the ends of these columns right here. So before you begin your analysis, you must make sure that each of the nodes over here at the base of your columns have a fixed support. So that's the main thing to note over here. And that's it for today's Autodesk Revit tutorial. If you like this tutorial, give this video a like and share this video and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and goodbye.